Um, well, podcasts are great because it gives you a way to actually have a real conversation with people, right? Um, and in a way that you might not otherwise be able to um, interact with them, right? So I, I chose a podcast and built mine, a real estate nerds. I don't think it's actually a moneymaker for us at all. You know, as far as I can tell, we don't really track it all that well of how all that works. Um, but, uh, but I like it and I like, and I will continue actually probably to launch more podcasts here in the next year, um, around marketing and sales and other things that I've learned about mm -hmm. because it's the way to, um, it's the way to share the info in a way that I think is easy for people to digest. Right. So I think podcasts that really do it wrong are ones that really talk about a lot of technical stuff because like podcasting and people talking is, is geared for storytelling. It's not geared for the conveyance of technical information, right? Technical information should be like an outlines and spreadsheets because then I can actually look at it for long periods of time with really minute details of trying to assimilate something, right? The power of podcasting is really the power of being able to tell, tell a story that conveys a truth that, you, that if you just told them the truth wouldn't be impactful, right? So if you can actually tell people a story that conveys a deeper truth about what's happening, people pick that stuff up. We're hardwired to it. I mean, it's why like the biblical traditions were always oral traditions before they were ever written down and people always had these stories. Why were those stories so important to them? Because the stories were the foundation of how do they think through problems and how do they know what's right and what's wrong and how their society is gonna function. It's the same way if we're talking about marketing or sales or whatnot, right? If we're gonna have a podcast about it, What's really powerful is the story that's about that person going through the journey. And then we as listeners remember the story more than we'll remember anything else that's technical that happens. And when it starts happening to us, we're like, man, that's exactly like when that happened to Scott. I remember that story. And that's why I have real estate nerds because what I found is that a lot of the real estate investors that I had come across that were successful and had huge setbacks it wasn't because of their technical knowledge of real estate investing. It was because of other things that were happening in their life, their mindset, where they at, how they were thinking, all these other aspects that, that I think that people were ignoring. And you can really only talk about those in a story context because how boring is it if you just tell you the facts? Stories. You need to have a clear head before you go into a deal. Well, what the hell does that mean? You know, <laughs> how do I know if I have that or not? You know?